When saving documents, there is also the option to create a multi-file document. So a multi-file document can consist of 0, 1, 2, as many documents as you want. But the thing with multi-file documents is that the metadata or tags have to be the same across every member of that multi-file document. So if you're putting you know, a, a lot plan and a site plan in, uh, it would not make sense to add those two to a multi-file document. In this example here, you can see that we have a, an agreement. You have the original agreement added to that multi-file document. You then have a signed version of that agreement. And a multi-file document was created to group those two together. So anytime you search for one, you'll actually have both of them together. And you can look at uh, either one that you'd like. Another good example of this would be if you're dealing with a document, like a Word document, and you need to create a PDF version of that exact document to send off to people. You could then create a Word, uh, a multi-file document for that and group those two versions together. If you want to add documents to a multi-file document, it's important to know that you have to check out that multi-file document before you can add documents to it. So we'll do an example uh, of this. So we'll create a multi-file document. We'll then um, add a couple of files to that multi-file document and see how we do this. So if I open up M files, uh, let's say we want to find that color sheet um, file. And we want to create that into a multi-file document so that we can add a PDF version of that file to it and group them together. So to create a multi-file document, you right click the file, go to convert to multi-file document. If you select that, you'll see that it kind of uh, changes the logo to a book. We can then expand that and see all the documents um, in that multi-file document. So in order to add to this, uh, you can just drag and drop files to the multi-file document. But first, you have to check it out. So to do that, you can either highlight the multi-file document and go to the checkout on the left. Or you can right click the multi-file document and go to checkout. Okay, so you do this, you can then drag and drop files to that multi-file document. Again, adding a site plan to a color sheet doesn't make sense, but this is just for a demo purpose. So uh, if you wanted to add a member to it, you just drag on top of the multi-file document, and it'll add it to, that, uh, to the multi-file document for you. When you're done, Again, anytime you're done with a document, make sure you check that document back in so other people can work with it. So if we highlight the multi-file document, there's the check-in on the left. Or you can, again, right-click and do a check-in there. I'm just going to remove uh, that site plan from the multi-file document because it does not make sense to be there. So to remove one, I'm just going to have to delete it. And that just deletes it from the multi-file document. It does not delete the actual file. So you can still see that site plan is there. It's just no longer part of the multi-file document. If, let's say, you made a mistake and you made a multi-file document and you didn't mean to, you can go back. You just right-click that multi-file document and convert to a single file document. So it just brings it back to the way it was.